which is how to choose Azure services for working with messages in your application. We'll start with that. And once this topic is done, we'll start with the monitoring part. So messages in your application. Now, why are we even talking about this? Well, that's because Azure has many, many options for doing anything really in Azure, right? So for messages, you have Azure storage queues, which is a queue where you put a message, which is a small piece of data, and then another application can take that uh, piece of data and do something with it. So that's great to offload work, let's say. You also have Azure service bus queues and topics, so also a queue and then also a topic. The difference between a queue and a topic in this case is that a queue is a message where an application, one application takes that message and processes it, where a topic can, uh, multiple applications can take the message and do something with it based on what kind of topic they subscribe to. So messages uh, from the shopping cart or messages from uh, a user action, for instance. So storage queues, Azure service bus queues and topics. There's also Azure Web Pub Sub. This is relatively new and is for publish subscribe. So you use this for a real time application where you have a client like a website, for instance, and a server that does something. So this could be a, a website from uh, an, a, a Bitcoin site, for instance, where you see the actual price of uh, Bitcoin and then that will be updated in real time because then that is subscribed to whatever publishes that uh, uh, that price. So for real time action, you can use Azure Web Pops up. There's also Azure Notification Hubs, which you use to send messages to mobile devices. So for instance, your iPhone or your Android phone, you send that message to Azure Notification Hubs. <laughs> okay. And then there's Azure Event Grid, which is a great thing. Uh, you can use that to uh, send events from things in Azure or from th other things to uh, to your own server. Uh, or service. So for instance, you can uh, create an event when uh, a, uh, a blob is uploaded to Azure Blob Storage and then fire that event and then catch it, for instance, uh, with an Azure function and then do something or in your own service somewhere else with a webhook and do something. That's really a great service. There's also Azure Event Hubs and that's meant for ingesting massive amounts of data, like for instance, uh, uh, yeah, what what could be what could it be? Streams of data that you get uh, get in there, uh, and then it can filter that data, it buffers the data, and then applications can come in later and then process that data. And a similar service to that is Azure IoT Hub, which you can also use to ingest massive amounts of data. But this is meant specifically for IoT, as it is bidirectional or bidirectional. So it can also send messages back to the IoT devices to, for instance, restart them. And then there's also Azure Signal R service, which is very similar to Azure Web PubSub in that it is meant for real-time applications. So you can have a client, for instance, that can display uh, the price of Bitcoin and then a server somewhere else that uh, sends the updated price in real-time to that client and then uh, you see it change in real-time. Uh, there is a difference between the two and I'll explain that in a later slide. And then there is Azure Functions and Azure Logic Apps. And these seem a bit strange in a slide about uh, working with messages in Azure, but they are triggered by messages in Azure. So for instance, again, when a blob is uploaded, that could be a trigger for an Azure function to fire or a trigger for Azure Logic Apps to fire. And also they have bindings so they can send messages to those same services. So you can have Azure Functions do something and then write out a message or a new blob, for instance, or a new queue, uh, message to a queue uh, without doing any plumbing, just by configuring the bindings in Azure Functions or in Azure Logic Apps. So these are the options for working with messages in Azure. 